type of a marine invertebrate scientifically, but it is a being that cannot be explained by this alone. This animal is one of the most irresplaceable beings for us humans and our planet Earth. The following are the reasons why coral reefs are indispensable for us. First of all, biodiversity. Coral reefs are home to an incredible amount of biodiversity, supporting a wide range of plant and animal species. They provide a habitat for ma many marine organisms, many of which are commercially important for human consumption. The second reason is coastal protection. Coral reefs act as natural barriers protecting coastlines from storm surges and erosion. Third reason is medicinal properties. Coral reefs contain a wide variety of compounds with potential medicinal properties. The fourth is climate change. Coral reefs play an important role in mitigating the effects of climate change by absorbing and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. I have been scuba diving since I was 14. I have been interested on filming the underwater nature, so I have studied underwater photography. Diving in Indonesia opens up a whole new world of beauty. Lots of fish, beautiful coral. Stop! Did you see that? That was the skull of the ocean. This coral is already done. It's practically a skull. This condition is called coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is a phenomenon that the coral turns completely white when they are exposed to stress. Why coral bleaching is a problem? Coral bleaching is a problem because only a few corals come back when they die. What are the causes of coral bleaching? The main causes of coral bleaching are global warming and human pollution. In recent years, the temperature of seawater has increased with the drastic change of climate. The optimum temperature for the corals is between 20 to 28 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is lower than 80 degrees Celsius or higher than 30 degrees Celsius, corals will expel the symbiotic algae. This causes bleaching and even leads to death. Furthermore, the greenhouse gases cause the ocean acidification. Ocean acidification weakens the corals' absorption of calcium carbonate and disrupt their growth. Human activities also cannot be excluded when we are talking about the causes. Terrestrial and marine pollutants that are emitted by humans disrupt the growth and reproduction cycle. What can we do to conserve the corals? There are various actions to conserve corals. First, let's find out what actions are made locally. Nama saya Johan Abdullah Bicasono, Gili Trawangan, Lokal NGO juga setiap hari Jumat adakan gathering untuk beach clean up. Jadi seperti mereka menyelam dalam air terus mengadakan clean jadi membawa seperti trash bag gitu di bawah terus mereka beach uh, diving clean jadi mereka menyelam ada sampah beberapa atau ada net atau bekas jaring atau ada tali atau ada plastik sampah mereka mengambil collect habis itu mereka dikumpulin Di sini juga mereka ada namanya coral conservation yang seperti biorock. Mereka membuat struktur dari besi, terus mereka taruh coral, coral yang hidup. Nanti lama-lama di area besi itu jadi coral grow up. Besides these actions, there are a lot of actions that we can take in our daily life, such as recycling and disposing of the trash properly, minimizing the use of fertilizers, using environmentally friendly modes of transportation, and saving energy. What we need to remember is daily simple actions can create sustainable ocean protection.